guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video I will be replacing my drive shafts on my R53. Essentially the boots on the existing ones have, have basically, they've gone, they're so oily and disgusting. So we just figured, seeing as we have everything off anyway, we may as well just replace the whole lot. Um, I will pop the link in the description below for the JNR drive shafts that we're using. Um, let's get started. So first job obviously would be to normally take off the wheel and everything, but this is going to be quite difficult to take off now the weight is no longer on the ground. So I'm using Busty Bertha, it's 32mm I think, 32mm socket. The reason why I'm using this is because this morning I've come into the barn and the compressor has decided to just die for no reason. So. We have the absolutely hench tools out today. Um, so this bolt will come off first and then there's another one underneath that I will be taking off. It looks horrifically difficult to take that one off. So goodness only knows how I'm going to do it. So accidentally forgot to record that. I thought I pressed it by hand. So, Basically, the lower ball joint bolt, if that's what it's called, was really enjoying his time stuck there. So we had to end up getting the breaker bar out, use that, and then that came off. So I've kind of put it back on a few threads now, so I can hit the living daylights. I say gently, on the wishbone, so try and make it come free and go back down. Um, hopefully, this doesn't take me ages, but on the other cars that we've done, this has been really difficult. Maybe I'm just really weak, but um, yeah, I should see you on the other side. This had to come safe today, as did a man, so I wasn't strong enough. Anyway, close. So, officially got it off using the ball joint splitter. We've hammered it down, so it's out of the way. Next job is to hammer the end of the drive shaft. This will go through the hub to the other side. Once it's at the other side, we can get all of this stuff out of the way and hopefully pull it through. all the way out um, so now next we pull the hub to one side to get access to the drive shaft and then pull it all the way out I'm hoping it comes out relatively easily once it's out I'll show you where the split is in the gator it's a fancy word I thought I'd throw in there hopefully that's the right one Okay, so the drive shaft that I've pulled off comes from this and it connects all the way through. There are now three bolts. There's this one that you can see here. Then if I move the torch over and try and work out where I am. There's then one here and one further back. Oh my goodness, it's literally impossible to see. So those, there's that one and then that one there. So those need to to come out once that is out. 
the whole thing should just come free and then we get the opportunity of getting the other one off. Excellent. Look what's out! <laughs> Basically, I don't like getting in and out from under the cut. It's making me feel really claustrophobic. So now I'm underneath it. I thought I might as well stay underneath it and put the new one back on. So we've pulled through the other one with the three bolts that connect to the rest of the car. Um, transmission. <laughs> transmission. Um, and now the new one will obviously go back on in just the reverse order. And I can't look at you any longer because it's making my head hurt. So given everything a tiny bit of a clean, it's kind of impossible when it's <laughs> as oily as it is and I have so little room. But the new drive shaft will be coming in through the sunlight side coming through and it will go into this hole. It will need to be tapped a little bit until the bolts that I took off earlier, wherever they, those holes have ended up, there, there and there. Um, so once those have lined up I'll connect it back through and then come back out the other side and we'll be working round near the hub again. So the three bolts are back up. I also took off the power steering fan in the end because that gave me significantly more room for the two that are on top of each other. Next job is to play around with the hub until this is back through this centre hole. Once that is through the centre hole you can put the new bolt back on and then my most favourite part of <laughs> basically everything that we've ever done on the track car is you get to push this in with a screwdriver and a hammer. I shall show you that when I do it. So both of the bolts are now done up, this one and this one. It's now time for my absolute favourite bit that I've honestly been looking forward to. So in here there's like a tiny little dent, if you can see it. And basically you have to hit it so it bends in, so it doesn't come back out. Um, last time this took me ages to work out a, a technique, so it probably will not go smoothly. But I, uh, I'm really excited. Okay. Yeah, it's all in. Happy? Touching. I like being a little bit destructive. What next? The other side. Apparently, though, this is the easier side. Thank goodness. So we're just about ready to make a start on the second side. It's pretty much exactly the same. So there's the bolt in the middle. If the person has gone smash happy like I did, just push it out the other way. Um, the 19mm bolt underneath, a little bit of jiggery pokery and it should pop out. When we did this on the other car though, this side, half of it popped out, half of the casing stayed on. Hopefully though, this won't happen again. And hopefully this will be a really easy one. Who knows? You're doing it out. Huh? You're doing it out. That 
should be on there nice and tight. Mm, should be. Man, I would got really proud of myself because I've got such a good technique holding everything all in one go, including the faulty wire. Easily does it. Such a spanner. I have no idea what I'd do about this. Well, I do. It would, this would be the scrap. I take it you didn't get the wishbone loose. Did you want me to do that? At least be that one. Come on, hurry up. You need to put, is the nut still on the end? A little bit. Definitely need a little bit more practice with these. I mean, I find the contraption thing, this is the sort of thing that fascinates me. But it will have to remain a fascinator rather than a, rather than a teacher. Anyway, hit the end of the drive shaft back out, have a little bit of a wiggle until it's all the way out. Then I'll pull it back out of the way and then hopefully pull it out in one go. Although I fear you may have this fast forwarded and see John's hands. Why didn't you not tell me? I'd rather see you suffer. Right, now what do you do though? You just loosen it. Pushing it down off I'm of the... so hungry. No, oh, you don't get food until you're done. <laughs> you're gonna be locked back in your basement. That's for 16 days. Oh. The good news is you managed to push the drive shaft all the way back through. <laughs> And we are complete. <laughs> It's literally not. 
I barely put any pressure on it at all. I have your commentary. I'm going to move up again. It's going to be the other side. <laughs> no, it might not be up today. Just round you up. And secure it yourself. Leave the casing off. Go no pull. So here is the joint where it was stuck. So we popped in the tuning fork into the gap and then with a hammer it sort of pops its way out. This is post pop, but obviously it had no room and no hands, but that is where it is. And now it should pull. That was scary and very close to my face, but that, yeah, that's it. <laughs> So, the new one is in, annoyingly though, the one we took out doesn't actually look like it was too worn, so that's annoying, but at least we know they're both done. So we will now be doing a little bit more jiggery pokery to get this back in through this hole, then the bolt at the bottom, this one done back up as well, and then tap tap with screwdriver and hammer, and then we will go in for a cup of tea. Oh dear. Oh. Have you tried turning the wheel? Yeah. No, you haven't. I haven't watched you turn the wheel once. I thought you were steering. Turn the wheel. We just twist the disc like this. Push one side and pull one side. Close. John Boy? Oh! What? I don't know! It's in, but it's not in! It's in, but it's not coming back up. You did that with a big hammer. Like upwards. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I think you need to turn the wheel if you can. I think she can't turn it. Nothing's moving. Yep. 
I hate everything to do with drive shafts and oil. <sighs> We're done. Nearly. <laughs> This one do up or is this one? It'll be an undo, won't it? Nice undo. Nice one. This is. Nice one. Okay. It's definitely turning to the right. Okay. If you say so. Whichever one you think, but I think you're right now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's not an easy angle. No, it's not an easy angle. You have to take that screw out. Or you could turn the drive shaft. Or turn the disc. Turn the disc. Turn the disc. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Quite easy. Ow! <laughs> I think we're going to start that one. <laughs> Go, girl. If you think she's got it hard, I have to sit here, watch and record, and it is painful. Perfect. Slowly. Probably incorrectly. <laughs> and by a girl. So while we are doing the drive shafts, we thought it would be worth doing the transmission fluid as well. This is what we will be using. Again, I'll pop the link in the description below. Um, I think there's two bolts that need to be loosened. One which is an upper drain and one which is a lower drain. Um, apparently at that point, it will all come flooding out towards me. Brilliant. Um, and then we will pop the new stuff back in, which is in here. So here is where we are working underneath the car. This is the lower drain, and I got this one wrong, it's like the upper fill. So undo this one at the top first, then this one. This one should then allow the fluid to come into this catch can, and then do this one back up, and then pop the fluid pipe thingy into this open one, fill it up, do it back up. I'm not entirely confident how well I'm going to be able to record and mess around under here, so just in case that is the walkthrough. Well, the good news is that my nails came out entirely scot-free. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we made a mess again. <laughs> oh, that's pretty filth to be fair. Right, I need a tissue. Yep. So we're back on do up mode. Post sticky mess everywhere so everything feels gross and grim. I really can't wait to wash my hands. So we have one of these pump things. I absolutely love these things. They fascinate me. So you just pop the end in and then get yourself into a position where you can actually pump and the liquid should 
go up. The idea is that you just keep filling it until it starts coming out the end. Takes a lot of pumping. <laughs> My arm's already aching. So we've ended up using over a whole bottle so far. So we're putting over a litre. No doubt it's spinning out somewhere. <laughs> Yay! Oh, flip it up. Talk about close. Right, where is the lid? On overflow. And that was really close to not being enough. I can't see the hole. Am I roughly there? Oh, right now she's trying to undo it. I find that very much fun. Oh, I don't think you found I am. Oh, it really looks like you are. You can make me a drink when we go in then to when I prove you wrong. Oh no, you are doing it right. I'll let you off. You can still make me that drink. Yeah, okay. And we are finished, finally. Hopefully we've done it right. Um, if we haven't, please do let us know in the comments. Um, also, if you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos, that would be really useful. We do still have quite a few more coming up for this car. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please could you leave us a thumbs up and a subscribe. That would be really, really good. Um, and hopefully see you in the next video.